Hello everybody, chances are if you are here, you're probably in s such great amount of stress that I understand that. First of all, I want to, uh, you know, like put it there that I understand the panic that you're going through. One of my colleagues went through the same panic and I've seen some people online that they're just uh, literally weeping and crying over this, that their files have been encrypted. They were trying to install or patch some specific software from uh, pirated sites or they were trying to um, uh, activate their windows you know obviously uh, not the right way to do it but they were trying to activate it with windows activators and stuffs and they got this all their files had been encrypted to dot horon dot some these in extensions so firstly what happens when your files become ex uh, um, change your extensions uh, you can see there uh, I have this virtualized environment running so don't worry about it it's just a test environment so this is a hack folder that I created so typically what happens is that the attack basically attacks all the most basic extensions you could call them like dot text dot wave dot docs dot PDF etc all the files will be converted to a specific uh, extension like in our case, it was .beerasauce. Now, the problem is, even if you try to convert it back, uh, the first thought, obviously, of an IT guy like us uh, comes into mind, yeah, let's just change the extension, it'll work. But it has been encrypted. So, in that way, even, even if you manage to do that, then that's not working. So, that was a pain. So, let's just, let me just hit Control Z. So, what to do about it? Well, first site that we went through that was a much better site was uh, malwarefixes.com. This is the first site that I uh, went through. And this site, I, I basically searched the extension that I was looking for, for my colleague. Um, and it was uh, this one. Remove bureau source ransom and decrypt these files. Okay. So we went into this forum and we uh, studied about this ransomware attack and it was pretty good to know what it is, how it does it. You could go through it too. I'll just leave the link in the description. Firstly, what it wants us to do is remove the malware, the malware from your computer. Now this is our step two. Um, if I go to this file and see, uh, step, sorry, step one, this is our step one. You can use the following options to get rid of the malware from your computer. Use an anti-malware software, for example, Microsoft Malicious Software Removal Tool, Malware Bytes. These are the two tools that I have used. Um, but uh, I, I basically reinstalled my colleague's windows because uh, I was not pretty sure about them either. These two tools, I didn't know if they would work or not. So I basically went towards the reinstallation of the windows so that it would remove the malware altogether. So, uh, it's your call. If you want to keep the windows, you need to run the software first. That is the prerequis prerequisite. Now, if I go towards the windows, I have this windows. Uh, this is the anti-malware software of windows. And this is the, the other software that I was um, showing you right now. Now you basically need to run this. This doesn't, I think, require installation. It just scans your computer, all of your files for some kind of malicious software and then removes it. So for the time being, I don't need to remove it because it's uh, I've just removed it already. So your concern is to uh, replace these files again with the same files you need. Okay, for that, we have step two. And that is basically okay. Uh, step two is decrypt your files with Stop Decryptor software. This is a software that carries keys, keys that were made at the time the mal mal uh, the malicious software was made. The malicious attack, actually, you could call it. The exe file of the attack was made. But this is the most important point that you need to, need to understand. Uh, if you're a technical, you will you will understand it easily. If you're a layman, no problems. I'll go through you. Uh, I'll go through the details with you. Okay, uh, Strop decryptor will only work if the key used by the hacker is offline, but it's worth a shot. What it's basically emphasizing is 
if the hacker did not had a, at the time you were installing that software patch, if uh, your computer did not have internet, or maybe the exe file that is being executed doesn't use an online attack, then you are in luck. Online means that um, the key was picked from a server outside your environment, your infrastructure from the internet. Offline means it didn't go towards the internet. Okay, when it doesn't go towards the internet, great. That is basically uh, where the stop decryptor will help you and save your life. Now, uh, the first question what arises in your mind is how will I know if the key is used is online or offline? Well, two possible ways as you can navigate to uh, Windows System 32 drivers, etc. And go towards the host file, this file, and open it up with Notepad. If you see something like this, 127.0.0.1, that basically means this attack was offline and you're in luck. I hope you are in luck. Uh, if it says something like this, uh, 110.159.6, this is a public IP address. That means the attacker was getting the keys from outside and the attack was online. Now the online attacks, we don't have the keys for that. Okay, so now I'll, li I'll leave the link of this uh, download uh, of this software in the description. You can get it from there. And once you have that software, it will look something like this. And will be stop decryptor. It will be in a zip file. Double click that and extract all of the files. Okay, this is a stop decryptor. Run this. And yes. And select directory. Select directory. The hack di directory I have is uh, computer D. This is the hack fo folder that I uh, created uh, for those two, two files that I have. Select OK and select decrypt. Now, if you see a plus sign decrypted, you're in luck and you are very lucky. <laughs> Um, okay, so now let me show you the file. Now this is the file that was before it, and this is the uh, this is the file after the after the decryption. And as you can see, this is uh, basically a configuration file of a Cisco router, and it has been decrypted successfully. Well, I hope this helps you out, man, because um, I understand the pain. Uh, the thing is that Alfred told um, Bruce Wayne that um, some people basically um, enjoy watching the world burn that is the problem here so they're not ne necessarily targeting you they just want you to suffer